Today we're talking about what I think is easily the lens of the year, and that's the brand new Sigma 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 DGDN. Now, in case you missed it, Sigma just announced the official release date for the brand new 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 DGDN. And I will say I've had the pleasure of using this lens for the last couple weeks and want to share my thoughts on what I think about this lens. And if you can't tell from the intro, I truly think it is potentially the lens of the year. But let's talk about why. Starting right off the bat, talking about the overall image performance. Now, talking about the image, I was super pumped when this lens was announced because I love a good 70 to 200 millimeter. And then when I went out to shoot with this lens, the more I shot with it, the more I fell in love with it. Now you are going to get a more clean and modern look out of this lens. You are going to have the f 2.8 aperture. So you'll have some good subject isolation. I didn't notice a ton of chromatic aberration, if any at all. And the focus breathing is going to be pretty minimal. And so right off the bat, the image quality of this lens is fantastic. And a reason why I think this could could be the lens of the year for a lot of filmmakers and photographers. Now, keeping with image performance, my next reason why I love this lens is the stabilization that this lens does offer. The stabilization on this lens is absolutely fantastic. It is using Sigma's new OS2 stabilization. I use this lens a ton with the Sigma FP, which is an unstabilized camera, and the majority of the shots that you're seeing with this review are all handheld. You're going to get a really nice and stable shot, and you're definitely going to be in that margin of error for stabilization that you can ultimately fix in post. Let's talk about some reasons why I love this lens on a physical level. That sounded really weird, but let's go into some of the build features of this lens and why I love this lens. One is going to be the overall lightweight design, which includes a dust and splash resistant housing. Now I'm going to go ahead and knock out a lot of the physical features of this lens while we're talking about how this lens is constructed. Now something to keep in mind is that this is technically a sport series lens, and so it is going to be similar to other sports series lenses, having a lightweight design that's not necessarily fully metal, but it is going to be very robust and very sturdy. It's actually going to be a little bit over a full pound lighter than the previous HSM model. It does come with a 77 millimeter filter thread, and it does include a plethora of switches that we've come accustomed to with Sigma lenses. You have a manual focus and autofocus switch. You have a focus limiter switch, which could help with the overall speed of focusing. You also have a switch for your different varieties of stabilization as well as a custom switch and you will also have a lock switch for one of my favorite features which is actually not even its own point but an actual physical aperture ring. This is something that's going to be slightly different than their other sport series lenses which kind of marries a model from their art series lineup which is a physical aperture ring. Now on the lens you do have some custom buttons and the lens does come with an included tripod mount as well as a pretty substantial lens hood. And then like I said before the lens is dust and splash resistant and so so the overall construction of this lens is one of the reasons why I love this lens. And in keeping with that construction, my next reason why I really enjoyed this lens is the fact that all of the zooming is happening internally. That was one thing that people called out when I made my announcement video is if this lens is going to have any barrel extension. And so I can say that this lens has no barrel extension. And again, that is just absolutely fantastic and honestly one of the biggest reasons why i love this lens and think it could be again the lens of the year for a lot of filmmakers and photographers and that brings me to the last reason why i think this could be the lens of the year and that is the price with all the things that i mentioned of why this lens is fantastic the fact that this lens comes in right at fifteen hundred dollars is just mind-blowing you get so much with this lens for what it costs. So with that in mind, let's talk about who I'd recommend this lens to and who is this lens for. This is one that I'm actually going to be picking up for myself and will replace my cinema lenses for a lot of my BTS projects. And so again, if you want a solid 70 to 200 that has really blazing fast autofocus, has amazing stabilization, maybe you're a Sony shooter or maybe you own a Sigma FP or the new Blackmagic 6K full frame and you don't have good autofocus necessarily, but you want that stabilization, I would absolutely recommend to check out the brand new Sigma 
Sigma 70 to 200 millimeter F 2.8 DGDN. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. If you do have any questions about the lens or maybe comments about the lens or just want to have a conversation about it, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace.